Hi guys, in this session, I'm going to explain Java program to find intersection of two or more hash sets. So let's go ahead and write a program. So I open my Eclipse, right click and uh, create a class. Class name as intersection of two hash sets. And uh, let us have a main method in this class, public static void main, and then click finish. Now first let us define the two hash sets set of integer set one equal to new hash set. Let us import these two um, from the java.util and also hash set also from java.util package. Now let us add the few elements to the set one, add one. And let us add few more elements here. So two, three, and four. So let us create one more set. So um, set two equal to no set and add the elements to okay now we have two hand sets. Now let us try to see what is the um, intersection of the two sets. In order to identify the intersection first s1 dot we have the method uh, to get the re, uh, to get the intersection of the two sets using the retain all. Now you can pass this set two. Now what this method is going to do is first it will identify whatever the elements in this set one and which will which are existing in this set two. Only those will be available in the set one. Now let us go ahead and print the set one and see what is the output we are getting it. So I'll say set one. Now in the both the sets we have the uh, one two three four elements we added. So ideally this is going to print one two three four. Now let us go ahead and run this Java application. If you see the output, the output is one two three four. Let us see. Um, I am going to add one more element to the set two dot add five. So now what it is going to do is in the set one we have the one two three four elements and in set two we have one two three four five. So it is going to now when you say set one dot retain all then it will have only these elements and five will be ignored. So now if I run this program again You can see one, two, three, four. Now, for example, let us uh, remove some elements from here and see what is the output we are getting. So in this case, the intersection of the set one and set two is going to be one, two. Let's go ahead and run this program again. And you see one, two. Now let us consider we have the list of um, set of integers. In that case, how it is going to work, we will see. So this is the list of, and we have the set of integers equal to new array list, let us say. Okay, now let us import these two from the java.util package. And list also from the Java dot util package. Now what we are going to do is we are going to add add the set one and set two to this list. So set one and set two also we can add. Let us create one more set three also. So 
and this is 3 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one more set set 3 now set 3 also 1 2 is there now the now what we need to do is we need to identify the intersection of now these three sets how we are going to do we will see in this program now in order to identify the intersection first what we need to do is the set one we need to assign to the particular um, first we need to take this set one and then we need to compare this set one with the set two and the set three set four and so on so that is the reason what we need to do is first let us get set of integers from the first um, first set from this list so it is first set equal to list dot get of zero so zero position set we are getting it and then we need to compare this set we, uh, we need to identify this one with the next set next set and so on we need to iterate it at the end what will happen whatever the common of all the sets we are going to get it so for that what we need to do is for int i equal to 1 i less than list dot size and then i plus plus sorry i plus plus now what we need to do is first set dot retain all of list dot get of i so how many sets you have in this particular list it will iterate through the all the thing at the finally we are going to get the intersection of the all these sets in the first set now if i print first set we are into going to get the intersection of all the set 1 set 2 set 3 and all so now the intersection of set 1 set 3 is going to be 1 2 because set 1 we have the 1 2 3 4 and set 2 we have 1 2 and set 3 we have one to here just i will change this to set three object reference now let us go ahead and run this application okay one two we get it now let us consider everywhere we have only one i'm going to remove this one let be four or let me comment out this one set to also comment and if I add comment here now if I run this program again we get the intersection of all these sets as a one so this is one of the important um, uh, program uh, do ask during the interviews so just make a note of it and if you have any questions please comment on my youtube video thanks for watching